Okay. I was going to do their obstacles, but right now I think it's best to find out how the Six of Pentacles lady feels um, about Page of Wands. How does she feel about Page of Wands at this time? How does Six of Pentacles feel about Page of Wands at this time? Okay, she has whispers. A mute declaration, fear of openly, openly expressing yourself. Elusive but timid words, an invitation, a secret revealed, intimate confessions. A relationship made from indu windows and things unsaid, with a thousand secrets yet to be revealed and many emotions to be expressed. So this is how she's feeling about the lady with the short hair. And that it is a little fiery. Um, what does she want from Page of Pentacles? What does she want from Page of Wands? Sorry. What does she want from Page of Wands? We have here arousal. She wants excitement of the senses, a rising desire, a fire that is lit, stimulating and cunning rival, jealousy that revital, revitalizes a relationship. Your partner responds with passion to your solicitations. Your desire reaches exhilarating peaks. So, she wants her partner. She wants to be aroused by her partner. Or a page of wands who might not be her partner. And there might be a rival. So maybe the Six of Pentacles lady is with by herself with her children and page of wands could be with this other lady who's in the house stuck and does not want to leave and is in great fear and that might be what's hanging over her with the shadows and fears I mean, it could be another partner or a family member. What does Page of Wands desire? I mean, how does Page of Wands feel about Six of Pentacles? How does Page of Wands feel about Six of Pentacles? We have passion. She feels passion for the lady with the two children. Drunk with passion under a cherry tree, a couple exchanges, effusions of love, biting the same fruit together. 
carried away by love, intense desire, passion, the desire to cover together, strong and, and same feelings, reciprocal promises, strong desires and feelings that attract one to the other, an irresistible attraction. That is her feelings towards Six of Pentacles. What does she want with Six of Pentacles? Play. Play. An inevitable destiny. The presumption of guiding the lives of others. Role reciting. Hidden truth. Bedroom games. Three-way situations. This is a strong experience, almost extreme, where pleasure and pain, betrayal and regret are combined. So... She could be playing three-way games. Her desires and passions for someone else. But she is with someone else. That's why I see guilt, guilt popping up in the bottom of the deck. Feelings of guilt, surprise, dismay. The feelings of being caught in the act, enjoying the forbidden, transgression but with difficulty. An affair that is some way is hidden, hinging on the thrill of the prohibited. So... Let's see, how does Page of Wands feel about Eight of Swords? And what does Page of Wands want with Eight of Swords? fall out. Okay. Page of Wands with the late girl that's trapped in her mind really bad with fear. She wants to caress. I mean her feelings for her is caress. Physical contact, desire to possess, instinctive communication, refined sensitivity. While a woman is caressing the strings of a harp, a man leans on her listening dreamily. A delicate relationship made up of subtle attentions and tendernesses. The anticipation of something more intriguing. But also what fell out was possess. So she wants to possess her as well like an object. Possession, jealousy, fear of losing a lover, a tendency to imprison the other. Exaber exact control of the situation, need to abuse one's power and to impose one's ideas. An exclusive and oppressive relationship based on possession that limits feelings and expression of the other. Also what popped out was Submission 31. 
submission, impossibility of proceeding, a mixture of pain and pleasure, excessive sacrifice, sufferance, the inability to rebel, feelings of being imprisoned, having begun, let's see, you are excited by the slightly preserved games where pleasure and pain meet, be careful not to hurt each other. And then the last card that fell out, I had to take them all because they all came out together, was dissatisfaction. 29. Frustrated plans, a cold shower, delusion, unsatisfying relationship, ungratified desires, a rude awakening from a dream. A relationship without the possibility of a future, even if short term, the magic to light the flame is missing. It is no good insisting, it just increased the frustration. For a single affair that has ended, a hundred more may begin. shadow sides of the characters in this story. The Six of Pentacles lady with the children. What is her shadow side? What is her shadow side? Her shadow side is Persephone. Compliance. Okay. What is Page of Wands shadow side? What is Page of Wands shadow side? Page of Wands shadow side. Page of Wands Shadow Sign. Page of Wands Shadow Sign. We got Dear Woman. Temptation. So, what is Eight of Swords Shadow Sign? What is Eight of Swords Shadow Side? Eight of Swords Shadow Side. Eight of Swords Shadow Side. In the story of quarantine, a love story. Envy. We have Fawn Mana. Envy. Not sure if I said her name right. Okay, I want to read this. And we have on top of the deck, Transformation. So I feel like this is being transformed. And maybe the two are not together. The Six of Wands and Page of Wands is not together. Um, because it's showing that she wants to take care of herself, which is very great. Putting herself first. But she's having arousal from probably Page of Wands. And Page of Wands is really having this passion and desire and wants to be with her, but has this guilt because of this other person that is involved. Which is saying that the situation is being transformed. Okay, let me... Okay, Persephone Compliance. Okay. 
Boo hoo, it's not fair. It's their fault, they just don't care. Comply, ditch this phenomenon. Whining victim, now be gone. By the power of the dark goddess in me, protection in this place, blessed be. Have you ever wondered why all the bad things happen to you, and why you always seem to be the victim in most circumstances? Although your sad stories fuel the attention you wish to receive, you are in fact denying yourself a happy and fulfilled life. Persephone acknowledges that you are stuck in rather a difficult rut, and offers to help you dig yourself out of this self-initiated purgatory. As a naturally helpful person, you have always willing offered your help. Sadly, though, through the exploits of others, your kind compliance has averse, and you have now become a victim of your own acquaintances. Having suffered emotional upheaval and entered trauma has led to self-pity which Persephone understands completely, even if others don't. However, she warns that sob stories not only invite negativity, they can also be a bore to endure. They serve to reaffirm all of the distress you wish to dissolve, thus creating more of the same. Time to change your story. Time to change the woe-is-me attitude. You are a victim of any given situation. Be positive and look for the best in everything. Your attachment to the past is ruling your emotionally. Join or attend a victim support group. Someone close needs your help. Or complying with rules. Complying with rules. Or complying with people that's around. And being upset about it. When you should put yourself first. And have boundaries. And self-respect. Now, the Page of Wands lady with the short hair, she has Dear Woman, Temptation. This is her shadow side. Persephone was the other girl's shadow side. A temptress loves temptation sins. Seduction lures innocence in. Fool be... Not by woodland mist. Take heed, wise up, time to resist. By the power of the dark goddess in me, protection in this place, blessed be. She has feelings for another. The chance to make a quick buck presents itself. Some things are better left alone. Someone is trying to drag you back. Stay on the right side of the law. Seek help for a relapse. Don't lend money on a whim. If something looks too good to be true, that's because it is. Lead us not into temptation. The dear woman softly whispered, why not? And beckon you to hear all the same. Sometimes a lesson must be fully experienced to be understood. You're being tempted to try something you would normally steer clear of, and perhaps an affair, a risky business venture, or even indulge in activities that pose a health risk. There is an innocence in the way in that which is happening, but simply mask how close you are in the edge of the woods from which this beautiful goddess calls. Only you know if answering her is wise. If you decide to walk into the woods to give in to temptation, then be sure to take precautions. Let someone know what you are doing in advance. Be prepared to take responsibility when you can no longer see the forest for the trees. Or you may have to find your own way out. Now, if a relationship's not working, and you're just holding on to someone just to have that person there, just in case something else doesn't work out, it's just, it's horrible because you're not happy there. So why even be there? You'd be much happier by yourself, and then someone that's true, can come in. Holding on to someone else, waiting for someone to come in, that's not going to work. Or even if you didn't know, but it's still not going to work. Eight of Swords, Envy.
And we have Eight of Swords and Envy. She says, not fair, must have, I want, I need. Envy's a dangerous thing to feed. To fight free will just isn't right. Release obsession, see the light. By the power of the dark goddess in me, protection in this place must be. There's someone who should be avoided. A crush has gone too far. Time to cut ties and move on. Beware of plagiarism. Stop manipulating another's free will. Your life path is your own and walk alone. Your life path is yours to own and walk alone. Protect yourself from jealousy. Try to balance out your material and spiritual lives. And there's something that she desires so strongly that nothing else matters. Obsession has blinded you to unseen factors and a company to attain of your desires. Perhaps you no longer recognize who you are anymore and wish that you could be Happy-go-lucky person you once were before the green-eyed monster began to rule. You have hidden emotions that have perhaps been festering since childhood, such as envy and jealousy. She will expose these agitations. You will have no choice but to learn to accept that what you desire in this way is not yours for the taking. Time to rejoice in the beauty and talents of others instead of fearing their success and remember you have your talents of your own and no one can be you remember that there is no such thing as competition when it comes to your life purpose therefore instead of trying so hard to capture attention allow your inner light to shine and so she needs to know that just because a relationship didn't work out Instead of trying to hold on so tightly. Because it's not making anyone happy anyway. To love self and just follow the things that she likes to do. And go do those things. And it seems like she needs to let go. She needs to let go. You know. And... trying to stop being devious and trying to have her cake and eat it too because it has hurt the six of pentacles whose innocence and does really want love and that's why she knows it's right to take care of herself first and put everything first and then if love comes in, love comes in and have her boundaries. And I can see that's what she's doing. Okay, let's see what the outcome. Let's find out what the outcome will be. Try this for the outcome. Give me an outcome for Six of Pentacles, Lady with Children. She's got the Ageless Witch. Okay. Of her outcome and what's the outcome for page of wands what's the outcome for page of wands we got secret witch secret witch and then for the eight of swords lady what is her outcome We got the Heavenly Witch. And so we're going to read those and see what comes out for each of those. <clears throat> okay. For the Lady with Children, we got the Ageless Witch. And... 
It says the ageless witch grows richer in inner strength and beauty. In maturity, her looks belie her age, and she is ever young at heart. She never loses her dignity or kindness, and you get more younger the more she puts herself first and takes care of herself and what's right with her first, following her happiness. She possesses these qualities. You are the object of someone's delight. They do desire you. You will discover the key to secret knowledge, including the power of self-reflection, contemplation, understanding, and love. Spell for lasting love. On a Friday night, light a pink candle before a dressing table mirror. On white paper, use red ink to write your full name in joined letters. Link your sweetheart's full name to the end of your surname. Draw a heart around the inscription and sprinkle it with a few drops of lavender oil or rose oil or some love oil that you desire. Using a tissue, smudge the oils to merge both names. Place the paper in front of the mirror so it is reflected. Look into the mirror, make your wish, and snuff out the candle. Fold the paper and keep it under your pillow. <clears throat> Okay, now the outcome for Page of Wands, The Secret Wish, is 21. Okay. The Secret Witch reveals that you will not lose your spontaneity. You will pass subtle tests by improving on your weaknesses and seeing yourself in a brighter light. Someone will reveal heartfelt sentiments. You may also discover hidden secrets. You may be gathering relevant knowledge to determine whether to advance or to retreat. Both are correct at certain moments. The choice is yours and may be secret. Spell to heal a friendship. Take a red ribbon, allowing one inch to 2.5 centimeters for every inch in your name. Take a green ribbon and do the same for your friend's name. Tie the ribbons with a double knot to represent friendship. Keep the ribbons with a photo of you and your friend or between two individuals' photos face-to-face -face in a pink envelope. When your friendship needs strengthening, place the pictures and ribbons beside a lit pink or rose-scented candle. Okay. The Heavenly Witch... Okay, the outcome for the Eight of Wands, Eight of Swords. <clears throat> the Heavenly Witch. The veil that hides the divine face of the Heavenly Witch is this <clears throat> is the treasure. The stars are her eyes, her tears are the rain, and the clouds are her silver-lined clothes. Her home is the sky's dome, from where she endows you with light to her vapory mist. At night, when your senses withdraw, you may perceive truths in your dreams. The facts revealed will help you to make your own dreams come true. Your parents' wisdom will become your own. Spell, for a wish to come true. Turn out the lights and light a blue candle to represent the color of heaven. On silver paper, draw a new moon crescent with a star above, beneath to the left or to the right. Place the paper beneath a vase of pink carnations, which represents perf perfection. When the flowers fade, dry the petals on blue paper. Cast the dry petals into a stream, river, or the sea to meet with focus, forces, that will ensure your wishes flow back to you fulfilled. Okay. Well, this was very interesting. This was the quarantine, a, a love story quarantine. And a quarantine love story. Oh, damn it. <clears throat> Hang it.